is a membership organization that started in 2014 with only five women sitting around a coffee shop table. Now there are hundreds of active members and supporting the mission, Crystal Covington, Susan Golsick, and Teresa Bright. Ladies, thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank We're you. so happy to have you. It is <laughs> International Women's Day, mm -hmm. and I get to have you on my new set, on this new couch today. Thanks nice. for being here. Thank you. So what is sort of the inspiration behind all of this? So I started Women of Denver. I moved here back in 2014 and had no network. I didn't know anybody except for my husband. We picked this place because it's gorgeous and has a really amazing economy. So I knew I needed to build a network for myself. I started going to networking events. I was uncomfortable and sometimes bored. Right. And so I needed to create something that was a better fit for me as an introvert, for me as someone who wanted to connect with other women and build really authentic and powerful connections. So Susan, what do you like best about being a member? I really love the personal development opportunities. There's workshops, webinars, mastermind sessions. There's so many different options for the members to get involved with, not only to attend these and learn from the other members, but also it gives us the opportunity as members to give workshops, showcase our experience and expertise with the others as well. So that's probably the best thing that I've gotten out of it. You're, you're often featured, I'm gonna make sure I get this right, in the Women of Denver magazine. Mm -hmm. So what's the what's sort of the, your inspiration behind a lot of that? the writing you know I first got involved with writing for the first one I do a lot of writing anyway but the the first issue was to showcase ways to live uninhibitedly and that's tied to my personal business and then with the next issue I wanted it to be something a little bit more pertinent to some of the things that were in the magazine and then mm -hmm. in this current issue it, a lot of the stuff has been centered on women speaking out with the Me Too movement and everything going on. And so my partner and I actually wrote an article about how we needed a culture change. So whatever is really front of mind for the women of Denver, that's kind of what inspires me on what to write, and I try to do it for each issue. Well, very timely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, Teresa, how do you feel about the women, and what stands out for you, the women of Denver? You know, I'd really have to say it's just how genuine the connections have been that I I've made there. Um, it's just been such a great experience. Um, you know, prior to becoming a member of Women of Denver, I was going to your typical networking events. Um, and it just kind of felt like an awkward contest to me right. of how many <laughs> business cards you can get at the end of the night. <laughs> and that's just not my scene. Um, and it's not really useful either. Mm -hmm. um, so then I became a member of Women of Denver. Um, and it was just so great. Um, the women that you meet there, they're not only a pleasure to be around, but they're all, they've also been instrumental in helping me reach current goals. Well, and right now with the Me Too m movement and so many timely things with women standing up and saying, you know, this is what we want, this is what we want to see happen, this is a timely thing to be mm -hmm. saying, hey folks, take advantage of some of the resources we have here. You know, Crystal, tell us if you could say one word, one thing that really makes you guys stand out or to our viewers that say, hey, come and join us, what would that be? Inspiring. I think Women of Denver is inspiring and inspires me every single day to be a part of it and to see what these women are doing and what they're sharing in our magazine as well. Well, you must be doing something different and, and new because you've got people who have said, I've been to every kind of networking event there is and I don't want to just keep collecting things. Obviously, that was a goal of yours. Yeah, it was the culture that I wanted to create. I'm an introvert. I don't like those heavy networking environments where you're just shaking hands with people with a drink in one hand and, hi, what do you do? You yeah. know, there is no, what do you do? You might ask that as a question, but people are more authentic having real conversations saying who are you what are the things that are important to you how can I support you and I see that happening a lot and women partnering together to create collaborative events collaborative businesses mm -hmm. helping each other in ways that I had never seen before and I didn't know that I could create something so powerful just listening to you is so inspiring. I have to say your genuineness in talking about it. Ladies, thank you so much for being here. Thank it's you. been great having you on our show in our first week. Join WOD and become a part of an organization that inspires and connects women in their community. To learn more, you can also call 720-515-3078.